going a little bit fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, people. Welcome back. Daily Dills. We're talking with Tiago. Apologize that everything is late. I'm just super busy. And we also have Stu here. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is that he does not have watch your pro, so he's just talking. <laughs> so, you have no idea what the heck's going on. <laughs> and Tiago's going so damn fast, I really can't commentate right now. I guess I can just tell you his end play. You know what Tiago does. It's either going to be a fell grand or a pleadies, so... You know, yeah, get, get he just goes ham turn one. Yeah, he just goes ham. Like, oh, grab three these on GG. Like, all right. So, of course, he's in trains. He got that train opening. again. I am literally just, I'm kidnapping Stu. And he's and he's pretty much thrown in almost every video today. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh, right, God. Yeah. So, uh, I apologize. I definitely apologize. We had to record this. This is actually going to be up on Monday, of course, but I still need to finish recording for Sunday. But Tago has to get off at uh, 11 o'clock my time, and it is now almost 10.30. So <laughs> so pretty much if this video gets cut off right in the middle because Tiago has to go, then I apologize. God, Tiago is just going ham right now. He's just going straight up ham. Wow. All right. Hey, straight up ham. Like, it, All right, it, tell me what he did. <laughs> I can't even, well, I can't <laughs> really explain. He's done so much turn one that I really can't even go into detail about what he did. <laughs> He's just okay, going to him. It, 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 it involves just... filling up his graveyard and playing Soul Charge, so to him. To him. I, I'll tell you the end result, but the end result is literally looking like definitely a Felgrand and maybe a Yazzie. Yeah, there's a Yazzie. Yeah, first turn soul charge, so that's fair. <laughs> yeah, first turn Yazzie and Felgram with four cards in hand, still remaining. Won't be surprised if they scoop it up. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Well, and the, you know, the funny thing is the opponent we're doing against the name, this guy's name is Doom King of Yazzie. <laughs> like, you mean this Yazzie? <laughs> you mean the Yazzie on our field? Wow, Magical Mallet. Our opponent uses Magical Mallet. What's that new uh, entertainment or or Performa Pals card that's kind of like Magical Mallet except not an egg because you draw an additional card? I don't know. Yeah, they have new Like, cards. I don't keep up with the new stuff that much. Oh, damn. Well, this guy's too pro. I don't think I can handle what he just did. You know what, what he did? What did you do? He set a field spell. Oh, God. What, <laughs> Dark Worlds? <laughs> Why would you set a field spell? <laughs> yeah, this duel's gonna be over real quick. Alright. Summon uh, Express Night Express. Special summon Decrane or Decrane or however you fucking you say it. Go ahead, XC into Dora the Explorer. Well, you open really well. <laughs> yep, I, yep, oh, they quit. <laughs> So your field was Dora, Felgrand, Felgrand Yazzie. And, and I was just about to go Machine of Fortress, pitch itself, and pitch a uh, uh, Thuggish. Oh my god. <laughs> and then Sutra to Crane, and I already have another Express Night Express in my hand. <laughs> yeah, they scooped it up. Alright, we gotta get another duel in. Alright, alright. We're probably not gonna open up the tits like we did before. You playing against the same guy? Uh, the yeah. Yazzie yeah. guy? Yeah, it's still Yazzie. <laughs> He's with another partner, though. Okay. Right. <laughs> and Diago open up with that Excel light again. He went Excel light into Galaxy Wizard. Galaxy Wizard effect tribute itself. Search for uh, Galaxy Soldier. <laughs> Gold Sarcophagus. Because it's number generator. <laughs> and also, it's fucking broken tag, tag duels. <laughs> Oh yeah, you get it back in like what the next turn or something. Yeah, your next turn because your your partner standby face counts. Yeah, that's kind of cheating. <laughs> he went activate Galaxy Wizard pitch uh, Vylon Tetra, the one that you pay five hundred life points to equip to one of your monsters. Activate Insta Fusion, pay a thousand life points, probably summon a level five light. Yep, summoning heavy armored Panzer Dragon XC into Pleiades. Yep. Man, his first turn plays. Mm -hmm. So good. 
So he went to first turn please with uh, three cards in hand. So the gold sarcophagus is like a delayed one for one. Opponent activated black whirlwind. Summons Breeze. There's a monster that's weaker than Breeze. Breeze? Out of all black wings. Seriously. Um, who's weaker than Breeze? Sirocco? No. Kalut. No, Kalut's stronger than Breeze. Breeze is only 11. Kalut's 8. Oh, no, 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 no. Vayu. I meant Vayu. Yeah, Vayu. That's what I was thinking. Vayu. So I guess you're going to search for Vayu? But why would you want to search for Vayu? Let him. No. <laughs> One. Seriously, search for Ryu because I can't think of any be anybody weaker than Breeze. Maybe that s smoke screen guy. The smoke. I forgot his name. The one that summons the token. Is he weaker? Wow, that went so fast I didn't even get to see. Blackwing Orochi the Squall. Never heard of it. Me too. <laughs> Let him. It's fine. Oh wow, and then he drops the Gale and the Bora. So he's probably gonna cut the Pleiades in half. Doesn't matter if you bounce it because he could just summon it again, so. Fine. Well, that's unfortunate. Yep. Breeze can only be used for the Synchro Summon of a, of a Blackwing, so. Yep, so. Doesn't matter, you can bounce one of them. Either Gale's gonna. Wow, and Gale. The reason why Gale got freaking hit is the reason why Gale is fucking up right now. Because it can cut a 25 beater in half and drop it to under itself, and it took out Stardust. <laughs> and that's exactly what it just did to Pleiades. Goddamn. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Blackwing player. An ass crap ton of back row, right? An ass crap ton of back row for us? So I should summon the Bora that he bounced with please so we didn't take that direct attack with Bora. Sets him back row, probably an Icarus attack, because they always have it for a card at three. They always have it. Yep, sets two back row. Passes, doesn't even synchro summon or anything. Oh, yes. Alright. You got that Icarus attack? If you got that Icarus attack, you're going to have to Icarus yourself. So... I want to jack you off, man. I want to jack you off. <laughs> Did you open good? Uh, not really. I got Jinzo uh, Dracker. Well, no, I opened up okay. I got Jinzo Dracker, Express Night Express, Malefic Cyber End, Ruffian Card, Decrane, and Pathfinder. Search me for a Jinzo. Yup, there's Icarus Attack right there. Bet you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> So, the other set's probably a limited card. Delta Crow into reverse. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh, I wish I had my filth spell. Or Machine of Fortress. This hand would be a lot better if I had either one of those two. Well, time to figure out. It's time to find out if I'm going to get colluded or not. Let's see if this Blackwing guy actually opened up. No, it's not Clute. It's Oshi. So I already know that you don't have Clute. So I'm going to go ahead and kill the Gale. And probably get exceed in two with the Bora, since I can't kill that. With this with this partner. Probably get it XC into a Castell, spin back my freaking Jinzo, and then we gotta deal with Icarus attack again. So I I mean for a card, they always open up with Icarus attack. Always. Yeah, it's like Sylvan's, they always open up with Lone Fire. <laughs> Just like, from what I've seen. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, do you have some kind of Blackwing card I don't know about that allows you to search for Icarus Attack? <laughs> I said, I think he wanted to activate Icarus Attack and blow up my Ninja Jacker, but then the problem with that is that he would have to blow up his own card, because I only had one card, so he had to blow up his own shit. Dixie. Okay. What the fuck was that supposed to do? What you what thought just you happened? could see? He, he summoned Bixie and then set some back row. Like, but, <laughs> but what? You thought you could secret something with the Breeze? Like, Breeze can only go for Blackwing. 
Maybe you should read the cards, guys. <laughs> so you're just gonna summon Bixie in attack mode. All right. He obviously thought he could have synchro. Yeah, I'm guessing. Maybe thought he would go into like Miss Swarm or something. Unless oh. you're randomly playing Blackwing synchros and Yang Zing. If you want, then you need to check and check yourself. <laughs> oh, Jinzo last on the field. They got a crap down a back row, but Jinzo's still in the field. Tiago's going off. He got his uh, his uh, his Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Uh, pitched it for Galaxy Soldier. Galaxy Soldier searched for Galaxy Knight. Galaxy Knight summoned back the Galaxy Eyes he just pitched. So he's probably gonna go right into a Felgrim. Unless he can end his duel. I don't think so. Nope, Felgrim. Then wait, you got something to make another Pleiades? Yep, another Instafusion. God. <laughs> Summons fucking Panther Dragon, X into Pleiades. So Pleiades, Felgrim, and a Jinzo. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Well, the Blackwing guy is low on resources, too. He only has one card in hand, drawing into two. He still has Whirlwind up, right? Please. Yeah, he still has Whirlwind up, so. Wow, so I'll please he's wrong. Uh, bounce to Bixie. Definitely bounce to Bixie. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do in this duel. This duel is looking pretty... pretty dire right now. I think this might be the end. <laughs> the Yangzing guy's like, bounce is the kill my monster, and I'm like, bounce the Bixie. <laughs> <laughs> so when you bounced it, it went to Blackwing guy's hand? No. Oh, so it returns to the original owner's hand? Oh, okay. I guess Tiago's like, you can just kill it during your turn, I guess. I thought you wanted to get the additional damage in, but alright. No, it would go back to the Yangzing guy's hand. <laughs> alright. <laughs> Alright, turns Bixie to defense mode. Alright, this might be the end. They might quit. Wow, all the black and guys did was turn Bixie to defense mode and end the turn. And I opened up Brook. I could do it. No, I can't. The field's too full. Damn it! Stupid field. <laughs> it is. I could go for super chocolatey fudge cover, but the field's too full. <laughs> Damn it! I want to go for super chocolatey fudge covered. I heard that those are delicious. <laughs> I I got I drew scrapyard. I drew a scrapyard. Pitch thuggish. <clears throat> Search for uh, Express Night Express. Summon you. Almost summon without tribute. Do not tribute my fucking monster. Wow, this guy look. I hate Jinzo. Like of course the Blackwing guy hates Jinzo. I hate back row. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jinzo. I hate back row, so I guess we're even then, huh? <laughs> you act like you see Jinzo all the time. <laughs> Not every day you get Jinzo summoned on you. <laughs> so you should be appreciative. <laughs> yeah, I got that Brooklyn rage. <laughs> so that Jinzo. Wow, I think this is game. This field's disgusting. You know what we got? I know you got Thulgrin, I know you got Pleiades. Now you, what? You know we got Jinzo. Now we got Dora. Dora? Dora. <laughs> Dora, which, uh, that has um, uh, Decrane as an XC material. If I'd ever go up against that field, I'd just scoop <laughs> right then and there. <laughs> There's no hope. <laughs> None. You better tell. And you know what the biggest problem is? What? They filled up their back row, so even if they draw Regeki, they can't play it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they fucking, uh, you know, use something to for Jin's in a gate and it fizzles. But yeah, they have their back row completely filled. <laughs> I 
And it's all thanks to Jinzel. <laughs> now we got Dora and Pell going to protect Jinzel. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I don't care if you kill anybody else. Just don't kill Jinzel. <laughs> I wonder if probably one of his back row is probably uh all right that's game during your end phase please bounce your new set monster uh ying zing guy that's it we win gg shake our goddamn hand <laughs> <laughs> well that was two quick games i guess yeah we're too strong <laughs> they were both just blowouts yeah <laughs> sleep blowouts <laughs> You're gonna oh. get a third one in? Yeah, we got enough time to get a third one in. Yep. That's it. Alright, we can get one more in. Bear back. Like, we don't have enough shit to MST. We got triple scout, triple vanities, triple fire lake, triple fucking everything. Skill drain. Skill drain. Triple, like, there, <laughs> there's, not enough, there's not enough MSTs in the world. Shit, I know I side decked fucking triple twister. Like, fuck that. <laughs> It is way too much shit to be hitting. I know, and then by then it's game two, and assuming that you lost the first one, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Tago went. Special summon Solar Wind Jammer. Normal summon Galaxy Wizard. Tribute Galaxy Wizard to get his effect. So he's probably gonna search for Galaxy Soldier. Special summon Gal Pitch something, special summon Galaxy Soldier. Search for probably... something. And then XE and the Pleiades. Somehow he always goes first. <laughs> he goes first because I allow him to go first. Oh. Oh, yeah, do you mean the paper, rock, scissors thing? Yeah. I think I think either he wins and chooses to go first or the opponent allows him to go first because I think the opponent comes in thinking that, you know, we're using the current rules. So they're thinking like, oh, yeah, we can just uh, simply, uh, you know, allow them to go first and then we'll get the sixth draw. But then Tiago is using absolutely rules, so... Tiago gets the sixth draw, so pretty much he gets straight up advantage. Like there is no advantage but about it. When Duel Number Tiago, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get that sixth draw. <laughs> Alright, the opponent just played upstart. I think he's still this is I think it's the same opponent. Yeah, same opponent still using back. Oh yeah, and the Steam guy was lower than uh Breeze. He's eight hundred. Alright. So he summons Steam. It's probably going to set a butt ton of back row, including another Icarus attack, because there's no reason to summon steam in a face-up attack position, facing down a damn Pleiades, unless you got some back row to back it up. In which case, Tiago did open up with two row decrees, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this will probably be another blowout. Because <laughs> that Blackwing guy just doesn't want to give up. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't want to give up, we can win. Like, no. <laughs> Not with Royal Decree on the field. <laughs> Black wings are especially with two. Seriously, you have MST for one, but you can just use another one. I wonder if I got any Royal Decrees. <laughs> use what? No, it's fine. It's fine for right now. Like I said, it's fine for right now. If he if he special summons a black wing, okay, I couldn't predict Gale once again. Gale's gonna fuck him up. Still wouldn't change anything. Couldn't predict that. <sighs> this guy's pretty much doing the same exact play he did last turn. keep on forgetting that Gale is at fucking, uh, at three. three. I keep on forgetting that Gale's at three. Yeah, because no one ever uses three Gale. <laughs> Literally, it's the same exact play as last fucking duel. Wow, you... He's gonna attack with both of them, Plady's gonna bounce one of them, and then... No, he bounced Steam, die. so Steam gets his effect, and it says when he the field, so they get a token. That wasn't very smart. Like, why did you bounce Steam and not Bora? I guess because he could summon Bora again? I don't know. I don't know. 
Because Steam's a tuner. But he has Gale. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he didn't do the border then. Hawk Joe j the Jet Black. Alright. I should be able to handle that. I don't know where my hand is right now, but I should be able to handle that. Yep, I got it covered. Wow, I opened up pretty good. Yep, activate switchyard. Switchyard first, I mean second effect. I'll pitch Pathfinder. Go ahead and search me for Night Express Night. Uh, yeah, I'll do that play. Summon Night Express Night. Summon the crane. <laughs> XC into Dora. Go into battle phase. Activate my effect. Uh, detach. Select on you. Make you unaffected by other card effects and run you over. So, if you want to play Clute, then you're going to be unaffected, so... <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it's like the same exact stuff happening in these duels. Yep. At least we got an, a different opponent. That's not the Gang Zing guy. Wonder what he's using, then. <laughs> I don't know. We better be ready, because I still got the crane attached. <laughs> I could get that fucking just response stop spot removal just like fucking morale talk on your ass. Just surprise motherfucker blam. <laughs> he is using performer pals. He summons friend donkey. Friend donkey summons Who the fuck is that? Pendulum wizard? This card is summoned, you can target up to two cards you control, destroy them, and if you do, add any number of pendulum mo uh, performer pal monsters or pendulum performer pal monsters. Alright. So he got rid of the Blackwing token and the wizard himself and searched for two performer pals. This should be interesting, I have no idea what. Performer pals too. They're the pendulum. They're your they're your you uh, use deck. So he put a scale three, scale five, so he can pendulum summon a whole bunch of fours. And I'm not getting any response to be able to do anything. I can't even respond to him. I couldn't even destroy the pendulum zone. So I couldn't even, I couldn't even, oh my god! Now what's going on? He freaking used his fucking, uh, Pagnaga effect where he uh, he targets one monster kill and he gains 300 attack for each form of power card you currently control. So that's including Pendant Zone. That fucker went up to 30. His donkey went up to 3,400. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh. That's one way to get past door, I guess. <laughs> <Shit. laughs> uh, I just detached the, uh, the crane and popped it. Oh, yeah. Forgot about <laughs> that. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that was a good try, I guess. Yeah, that was a really good try. I congratulate you on that. Holy shit. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Dragon Dowser. This card in the field is destroyed by battle or by opponent's card effect. You can special summon one earth pendulum monster from your deck in face of defense position, but it's destroyed during the end phase. Oh, you can summon fucking Kleeput. <laughs> you can summon goddamn Kleeput. Are almost all of the fucking pendulums Earth? I think they are. A lot of them are. 
Oh, Jago got soul charge. But that's fair, right? It's balance. I hate soul charge. <laughs> I hate it too. I wanted it banned. Me too, I still lose games to it all the time. <laughs> Uh, I'm just like Monster Reborn, bam. Up to you. Up to you. Um, you can make black bows. It's gonna hurt that more than it's gonna hurt us because I still have Ginger Dracker, so. Totally up to you. I'm good. Yeah, I'd say Mate Blacker. We're going to lose our row to Kreeze, but, you know, at least we're going to pretty much put this Pendulum guy out of commission, so. Because he's pretty much going to lose his field, including his Pendulum scale, so. That's good. Yeah. For you, I guess. Because <laughs> <laughs> he liked to fuck up our opponent. <laughs> I mean, that's what's, what you've been doing this entire episode, it seems. Oh, wow, well, Galaxy Soldier just said when his card is special summoned, so he got his effect off of Soul Charge. That's, that's stupid. <laughs> God damn. Oh, uh, yep. Fake Feather? What the fuck is that? Fake Feather? Fake feather, yeah. Haven't seen any Blackwing players play that. But I guess if you want to. <laughs> Blackwing player summons Blizzard. Blizzard summons Bora. Go into whatever. Or are you going to special summon another Blackwing from your hand and then. Nope, he's sinking for six. Oh, nothing. Alright, so he got the additional normal summon of a Blackwing monster. Special summon Bora. Oh damn, this guy's going in. Goes into a... Goes into Hawk Joe. Steam summons the token. And he can simply just summon Steam right back. He can sink her summon again. God damn. Hey, those 5,000 of our life points, holy shit. Yep, there goes 5,000 of our life points down the drain. Guess this Blackwing player came to play this duel. Then he sets one back row. God, he opened up. He had the tits. <laughs> Do you mind if I jack you off? Oh, he ah, he's gonna Icarus attack me before I can. But you gotta, you're gonna blow up your own shit. That wasn't worth it. That wasn't worth it at all. But of course he had the Icarus attack. Of course, but I'm just saying it wasn't worth it at all. He said, not this time. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't even worth it. God, he negged hard. <laughs> And he block and he missed his blocking from frickin' uh Hawk Joe now. Since he has nothing like the Blackwing has no the Blackwing guy has no no more cards. No cards. That's good. Yep. Assume you're gonna come back. The problem is his performer <laughs> pal, he could probably with the cards that he's been searching, he could probably set up another pendulum scale and pendulum summon the shit out of his shit again. Nope, he's 
Normal summoning card trooper. Card trooper in fact mill them. Yep. Mill three. Say so I didn't know that Papurma Palace liked to mill. Foolish. Foolish send what? Oh, I hate that guy. Fucking Thousand Blades. That guy's annoying. And Soul Charge. So Foolish and Soul Charge. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that one. <laughs> so is that why you wanted to mill so you could fucking... Well, I'm gonna understand this duel a whole lot better when I watch it. Like, wow, Foolish and Soul Charge. Alright, Number Generator. Oh, wow, we might actually lose this duel because of this performer power guy. The Rockman guy hasn't done much. This performer power guy has been on the ball. Literally. Get, get it? Because they perform on, on the ball. You get it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, shut up. <laughs> You're not funny. <laughs> well, I'm pretty much out of the duel. I didn't know he was going to fucking soul charge. I hate that guy. I love how it's always the last duel that takes forever. Yeah, it takes forever and fucks us up. <laughs> yeah. First two duels, short, fine. Last one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Wow. 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 Now what? He went Soul Charge, summoned all the monsters back, including the Blackwing Nothing, which minus is, which inflicts us with 800, and minus is one of our, t our monsters attacked by 800, and then he went into fucking uh, Ragnar Zero. Wow. And had the Pendulum Scales, so he can Pendulum summon all his shit back that we fucking Black Rose. Not sounding good. I don't know how the field looks but disgusting <laughs> like we're, we're we're getting our ass beat that's because of that goddamn soul charge he would have had he wouldn't have much without that soul charge but that's konami wait that says destroyed yeah it does say destroy them wow so he summoned back his fucking wizard then destroyed his wizard his card trooper search for two and then card trooper went off and he drew another card Well, I hope Tailgut's got something, because I literally only have one card left in my hand, so. How many does he have? Three or four? He has three cards in his hand, and his pendulum scale still set up, so he can still pendulum summon his shit back. Which looks like he has 19 cards in his extra deck right now. Uh, what's life at? Uh, we have 5650, and they have 10,000. And I have one card in my hand, so. The good thing is that it's at least, uh, it's a Night Express Knight, so I can go summon Switchyard, summon, uh, Duggish and make a Dora, but, you know. We at least got survived that, so we need Tiago to do something. Tiago has not done much this duel, so. He didn't open up that well. And we've just been getting straight up countered, so. If you could attack after you play Soul Charge, we'd already be dead right now. If you could attack after you play Soul Charge, I think I would have quit this game. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You're just like, I give up. Konami just doesn't give a shit anymore. Yeah. You're like, all I can really say is that Konami doesn't really care about us. <laughs> Michael Jackson style. Uh, Alright, Tago went. Uh, Galaxy Zero, summon Galaxy Eyes. Galaxy Expedition, summon Galaxy Eyes. I've seen the Felgram. <laughs> we're still staring down at nothing. Uh, Huck, Joe, and Aragna Zero. So, at least with Felgram, we know that if he tries to attack the Felgram, we can just use Felgram effect and uh, freaking hit him, his monster, Felgram, if he tries to clue us, because Felgram is stronger. 
Unless, of course, he has another Gale. And he summons goddamn fucking Herog Challenger Thousand Blades. I hate that guy so much. <laughs> So much. I hate that guy. I see that fucker way too much. Oh. In tears two, Tango goes pitch his uh solar windjammer, special summon galaxy soldier, search for galaxy knight. Felgrand effect on himself so he can detach the galaxy knight so he can I mean detach the galaxy eye so he can summon galaxy knight, galaxy knight summon back galaxy eye. And I guess it could see right into another Felgrand or something else. Cause why not? Why not? So at least at least he had plays. Yep, two Felgrands. That's scary. What's scarier than one Felgrand? Two. <laughs> why are you saying it like that? Two. <laughs> What's scarier than two? Three. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <clears throat> he searched for another silver claw, so if I destroy that silver claw and send Eric, I can just play the other silver claw in his hand. So that would be best to get rid of this Pragnog part Partnaga. Pr I don't know. Uh, the problem is, I really can't. <laughs> Unless I literally top deck into a fucking decrane, I can't. I cannot. <laughs> if I do though, I can go for like a super chocolate fudge cover if I want to, but I just don't think I can. So I think we still might be in a little bit of trouble. Blackwing guy, you have one card in hand. One. What are you gonna do? Watch it be an aggressive attack. I'll fucking kill this guy. <laughs> Is he just sitting wow. there thinking? Wow. Yeah, he was sitting there thinking. You know what he was sitting there thinking because he top decked? Take what? a guess. Ah, uh, man, I don't know. <laughs> Zero cards in hand. Take a guess what he top decks. Oh, Snatch no. The other one. Soul no, Charge? the other one. God, I don't know. I, I still could guess. Regeki. Oh. <laughs> well, those two Felgrands can protect themselves, at least. <laughs> yeah, they protect themselves, but it seems like he could still go off with something stronger. Like, wow, nice top deck. Therefore, when you get out, Regeki, like, all right, all right. The Foolish, Regeki, Soul Charge, like there is a lot of fucking, and, and Tiago got Soul Charge, there's a lot of number generating going on. Yo, yeah, every single freaking third party platform, whether it be DN, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, Dev Pro, it's all number generator. <laughs> like I should make the dueling network that's not a number generator, and everyone will play on it. <laughs> Well, I think we might have lost this door. With the power of number generating, we have lost. We got <laughs> fucked up by Soul Charge, we got fucked up by Regeki, you are just getting fucked up. Let me top deck Regeki, shit. Let me top deck Regeki. No. Alright. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Everybody can top deck Regeki except for me. I guess. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. To tell you the truth, I don't even know what to fucking do. Ah, uh, we might lose this duel. How long is the video at now? 40 minutes. <laughs> of course. I don't even know who I should kill.
If I try to kill you, you could just reflect the attacks to others, can't you? Yeah, you can. During your player's turn, when this card is targeted for an opponent's attack or for an attack, or opponent's card effect or for an attack, you target one of the black green monster and flip that to that target. Oh my god. So, I can't even kill his fucking main black green guy who's causing the most problems. That's annoying. That's super fucking annoying. Unfortunately, I can't help because I have no idea what. There's not much to help in to... this duel. This duel, this oh, duel yeah. is pretty much over. They've out. They could completely out resourced us. With their power of top decking and number generating, they have beat us. The power of luck. They beat us. That's it. That's game. Yep. Wow, Andy got fucking Zephyros. God, this number generator! I just want to see how this duel ends, because, God, this number generator, though. Yeah, because you only play, what, one Zephyrus? Because you only use one per duel, yeah. like, gold bulb and stuff? Yep. So. Okay. <laughs> Alright. That was dumb. <sighs> this guy is just straight up. This this fucking guy, this fucking, ten, this fucking performer power guy is straight up using these black wings. And literally, because of that soul charge, he's literally been sucking on the nipples of Black Wings to pull off plays correctly. <sighs> Who is that? What? Oh, screaming in the background. Oh. Uh, my brother is like fighting with someone, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yep, that's it. GG. They kicked the living shit out of us. Through fucking number generation. We still had our two Felgrams with all the materials. We probably could have done something, but nope. Of course, no cards. Absolutely nothing. No cards. Draw. Regeki. Like. Alright, how come I couldn't top deck Regeki? I'm done. I'm done. This video's over. Yeah, it's gone on way too yeah, long. So I hope you guys enjoyed the power of number generation. <laughs> so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys uh, with Lunar. And uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow with uh, Telemax. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Also, thank you, Steve, for joining me. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> no problem. Right, bye, guys.